So today I'm talking about a P0131 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0131 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit low voltage bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the exhaust to know how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And it's seen a problem with one of these sensors. So it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some possible causes of a P0131 code. Well, it could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring like an open or short and possibly a blown fuse. And the basics of what's going on with these oxygen sensors is that sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be before the catalytic converter and then sensor two is going to be called the downstream and it's going to be after the catalytic converter and these sensors do two things the first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture and then they also have heater elements built in and this does a few things it helps it go into what's called a closed loop quicker but the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the bank one sensor one oxygen sensor on your particular vehicle since there will be differences, it's going to depend on the engine, the year, the manufacturer, and things like this. And bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that'll be bank one. The opposite of that is bank two. And then sensor one is going to be the first oxygen sensor going down on that side of the engine. So for example, here's a 2007 Camry 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, bank one sensor one is right here. It's always a good idea to get a diagram where everything's laid out if you can. It just makes things easier. But if you find the number one cylinder, that'll be bank one and then the first sensor going down is going to be the sensor one and then the next thing to do is to check out the wiring real good be sure everything's plugged in there's no open shorts anything like this basically just keep in mind that anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to check that out and be sure that looks good also keep in mind that these are usually on a fuse and sometimes a relay so for example here's a 2005 toyota tacoma and this af heater that would be the fuse for these and this also has a relay right here af heater and if something went wrong with these, then it will cause issues. So keep that in mind. So if you check that all out, the wiring looks good. There's no blown fuses or anything like that. The very likely that sensor has just failed. It just needs to be replaced. You can test it if you want to. I made some videos on how you go about testing the oxygen sensors. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But basically at this point, you either need to test or replace that oxygen sensor. One thing to keep in mind is that sometimes you need this special tool to get around that wire and to get them back in. Not all the time, but sometimes you do. Sometimes they're out in the open like this and you can get on it with an open-end wrench. But other times they could be recessed into the exhaust like this. So you have to have that special tool in order to get them back in and get around that wire. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what I'm talking about. But go and look at it and see if it is recessed in, then be sure to get that special tool so you can get it back in. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a P0131 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.